Hey guys, it's me again, Jason. Uh, here's another video for you. Um, I'm sorry for the last video. The term, it was my first time editing, so that's why the first part was kind of messed up. I'm going to have to work on that. Um, I might take it off, then re-upload it with it finished and fixed up. Uh, another thing is that uh, it also had a very low quality, um, which was another thing that I'm going to have to work on. So just bear with me because this is a full HD camera that I'm using right here. So, uh, yeah, there's really no excuse for it to be messed up. So anyway, I still owe you a video of me making the one way check, one -way check valve out of household materials. Now, yes, I already pre-made all of this stuff, and that's simply just to be time conservative because this would take this was this would have taken short amount of time because you have to rinse it out and all that stuff. Okay. So, first of all, let's get with the tools. Uh, so, first of all, you're going to need uh, pliers, scissors, and hot glue gun. Okay, so anyway, now with the uh, supplies. You're going to need the parts that are actually going to make it. Okay, so you're going to need a some sort of bottle, whatever choice. Make sure it's like the hard plastic, like soda bottle plastic, so it's weighted for pressure. Um, you're also going to need electrical tape and a check, one-way check valve out of a, a lotion bottle. And you can pretty much find this in any lotion bottle. I gave credit to Thomas Kim in my last video, so just in case anyone's wondering. So yeah, you can find that in any lotion bottle. Um, I prefer lotion bottles because with Thomas Kim's video, he used um, a shampoo bottle, and those usually tend to have to do extra steps with lotion bottle. Don't have to do that. So, yeah, so let's get to building it. So, first of all, what you're going to need to do is you're going to take your electrical tape and you're going to get a length of the electrical tape if you can actually find where it begins. This is the green one, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, so you're going to need a length of electrical tape. Can you see something? Yeah. So we're gonna need length of electrical tape, about an inch. Don't need much more. So you're gonna need some electrical tape. And you're gonna take it, cut off a strip about an inch, about an inch long. Gonna take it around the valve and just wrap it right around. So it's that simple. So then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take your scissors and drill, make like a little hole through here. Now the scissors, oh, the scissor method is probably the most efficient and least noisy way of doing this. Oh, one quick thing. The way you get this out of the bottle is where you have the little squeezy thing that shoots out the lotion. You're just going to take that apart and after you've taken it apart, pretty much you should have a part. Now a way that you can tell that it's one that would work for this experiment is if you can put it on your fingers and you squeeze it down and you squeeze it like this and you put your thumb on it like that then you let go if it forms a vacuum on it then that's telling you that it's uh, working. See how it forms a vacuum. So now that you've done that, you can take it and see just how well it actually fits in there. Okay, so with me, it seems to fit in there pretty well. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little bit of hot glue and we're just going to kind of lace this, not too much, but just enough. Just kind of Give it a little bit of hot glue around there, just like that. 
me just go ahead. I'm gonna have to push it a little bit hard. Okay, so once you've done that, you may see a whole bunch of excess glue. And that's good because that means, that in the case, that you used a copious amount of glue. So this should keep that airtight. And just to be careful, you can glue it up in there if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, so I'll be right back after I rinse out this bottle. Out the bottle. Take the wrappers off. Just like that. That's all it is to it. It's that simple. And then you just squeeze it right back on. And you have yourself. On my check valve. Now, the way you can tell, another way you can tell to see if this works is if you squeeze it and it doesn't let the air out. Now, the reason why the air was coming out is because I didn't make a very good glue seal, which I'm going to do right now. So, let's go ahead and do that. I just want to seal it really well with the glue. Don't want any air escaping out of here because then you won't be able to build up any pressure. So if it can't take the simple amount of pressure that's generated when you squeeze the bottle, it's not gonna be able to take 100 psi, which is what you want about 100 psi for this experiment. That's what you want to get out of it. You can uh, take a regular tire valve and see how much. Uh, PSI is actually being generated. Like you know for the tires. So just go ahead and glue that up inside. Try to make sure that you don't get any on the uh, when you're gluing it on the inside, try to make sure that you don't get any glue on the uh, groves that attached the ball. I just had a mental block because it's like midnight. I forgot what the word is. But, you know, just try to get it off of those little lines in there that cause it to attach the ball. So, just glue it on up in there. Uh, you can probably use your scissors. Just kind of stick it down in there a little bit. Just like that. So I'm just gluing it up right now. Just blowing it a little bit. That's all it is to it, you guys. So let's see. There we go, that's what we're looking for. See, so if, unless it... So there we go. And stay tuned for the next video where I actually show you... show you this working. See ya.